Hello everyone and welcome to Battle of the Beast New Generation episode number 18. So we're now 18 battles into round 1 and soon to be we're having 18 victors. But first of all we need to see which beast has a chance of being the 18th victor. But let's have a look at our uh, competitors for today. So up on one side which is the left side for you I believe is Vizlak the Sliverin Serpent. Ooh, so creepy. And on the other side is, uh, just had to make sure I read the title right, Scra the Night Scavenger. Now, we got a snake versus a chimera. Uh, I believe it's a chimera anyway. Um, but basically, this is all to be an interesting battle. Both these beasts I like fairly a lot. Like, I like both of them. One for being a Saint Beast and one for just being playing out awesome. So, uh, it's going to be a tough one for me because I want both of them to make it through to round two, but unfortunately... Only one victor may be crowned. Good luck. And may the odds be ever in your favour. I mean, not having a Hunger Games thing where only... Where, oh, we're going to have two victors this time. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that because I don't want to eat the nine lock berries. I watched Hunger Games recently, okay? I watched it recently, okay? I'm allowed to do that. Okay. But before we get to this fight, um, I think I'm going to need some help. So, Lucas, you know what to do. Vizlak, the slivering serpent. Vizlak can sliver silently across the ground or rear up as tall as a tree to tower over his foes. Spines crest his broad head and back. Some say he can taste fear with his flickering black forked tongue. Once he's pinned you with his stare, venom squirts from his razor sharp fangs, but it isn't poison. Once it's venom, Hits its prey, it hardens them into resin from which there's no escape. As you can clearly tell by these incredible stats of Vizlak, you're in for quite a surprise. Let's take a look. Agility shoots venom that burns and encases the foe into a cocoon. Tongue whip and tail whip, these abilities may be minimal, but they prove very effective in the tournament. Let's see how he does. Skara the Night Scavenger. Skarab is a hulking, muscular beast whose body is coated in spiky white fur that can burst into scorching hot purple flames. If that isn't terrifying enough, his smooth-scaled serpent-like tail can knock his foes unconscious. His awesome stats show he has agility, sharp hooves, sharp snake fangs. The hooves can melt whatever they touch can evaporate water. Large amounts do require rest, but he proves to be a cunning foe in the tournament. Three, two, one! Battle! Vizak vs. Scra. Let's get into this. So, as both beasts exit from their chamber doors, Vizak slivers out, looking around for his opponent. Just trying to find his opponent. And, um... He can't seem to see anything apart from at the in another chamber a set of glowing red eyes and what seems to be purple flames shrouding around those eyes. Um, Vizlak hisses in intimidation to try and scare the flames but it doesn't work and Scra pounces out and crouches down growling fiercely towards um, Vizlak. I, I treat Scra like a dog but... <laughs> Uh, the only thing similar to a dog that Scra has is the, uh, well, the fact that he's a quadruped. Um, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Scra roars at Vizlak. Vizlak leans back a bit and shoots out his uh, venom to that will encase uh, Scra and just stick him uh, like in one particular point. Uh, Scra sees that and dodges it immediately. And uh, then starts charging towards Vizlak, where um, Vizlak goes to shoot another piece of venom, another bit of venom at Scra, but Scra's able to dodge that as well, and he pins Vizlak down to the ground on his back, and using his um, teeth, starts biting into the side of Vizlak's head. Vizlak gets his tail, wraps it round um, Scra's body, and chucks him off. Uh, try tries to knocks him to the side. And uh, whilst that was happening, uh, Scra was able to get one good 
hitting on um, Vizak with his tail, just knocking Vizak's head to the side, causing him to drop Scra. And uh, Scra then goes back to scratching Vizak um, from behind, but due to Vizak's scales being quite strong, no no effect. So what Vizak does, what Vizak, what Scra does is that he um, decides that he's going to need to try and uh, find a way to kill Vizak from the inside out. Um, and so what he does is that um, he uh, goes around to the front of Vizak and tries to base him out to move a bit closer to to where he is. He's standing against the wall. Vizak slivers up close. And whilst going up closer to Scra, he's shooting venom towards Scra, but Scra's dodging all of it to the point where Vizak is now right in front of Scra. And what Scra does now is that using the strength of his entire body, he charges right into the arena wall, causing cracks to happen. And um, Vizak goes to snap at Scra. Scra sees that, jumps out of the way. Vizak headbutts the wall, causing Vizak to reel back a bit in pain. Scra hits the wall again, causing the wall to start crumbling, da- tumbling, and the walls kept tumbling down, causing the wall to tumble down on on top of Scra and Vizlak. Scra's able to jump out of the way though, but as Vizlak was about to get away, Scra um, hits Vizlak in the face with his tail, uh, causing him to just get stunned a bit, and then the uh, wall just tumbles down on top of Vizlak. Uh, what see after what seems like. Hours, uh, Scra assumes he's about to get he's getting the victory, but then as number nowhere, the rubble starts to violently shaking, and then Vizak just bursts out, um, covered in a very covered completely in red, and he seems larger than he was. Um, and Scra looks towards the rubble and sees a case or a casing for a snake, snake skin, if anything. And he realises that um, Vizak shedded his skin and uh, used that skin as a shield. Which um, kind of infuriated Scra, because now Vizak's kind of uninjured. Vizak shoots Venom towards a Scra. Scra's able to dodge that again. And then he jumps right on top of Vizak and starts biting and scratching at Vizak's head and back. Just trying to get him to die. Vizlak um, just wraps his tail around Scra and just lifts him up and smashes him into the ground. Viz- Scra felt that pain and whilst he's getting up he's greeted by a shot of venom that hits him directly above one of the back legs. The venom is um, spreading gradually ra- through his body uh, to where it's causing the joint of his leg to just stick and his tail is now harder to move. Scra, not wanting to um, be trapped in this encasing, charges as quick as he can towards Vizak to tackle um, Vizak. That way the venom is spread onto him as well. And he's able to pin Vizak down, but Vizak is already wrapping his tail around just to lift him off again and uh, chuck him away. Uh, Vizak also shoots him again with another piece of venom, this time hitting Scra's chest, causing his joints to start sticking up again. What Scra does is that he bites into Vizak's head before he's lifted off. And um, using all the heat he has up, he starts heating his entire body to where the venom or the sticky ooze from that venom. Now, I'm I'm calling it venom, but it's probably not poisonous. um, Starts melting melting away. And uh, Vizak releases his grip off Scra because even though he can take heat, not this much heat. And all of the uh, flames, that's his, all of the heat inside Scra has moved its way through his entire body onto where he's um, biting Vizlak, to where the heat is going inside of Vizlak through his scales. Vizlak sc- starts screeching in pain and um, just smashes his head against uh, the ground, knock- hitting Scra in the process. But Scra is not letting go, he's just still summoning all his heat to bite into v- Vizlak. Um, onto his teeth, just heating the inside of Vizlak. And what Vizlak does to try and uh, save himself is that he uh, shoots Venom upwards so where it just hits Scra directly on the face and also hits Vizlak as well, where it starts spreading through them. But due to the heat, it's melting. 
but it's causing Scrar's heat to just die down. And Vizak realises the more venom he gets on Scrar, the heat will die down. And also Scrar's heat doesn't last very long anyway. So um, Vizak shoots tons, all his most of the venom, or as much venom as he can, up into the air where it just lands on top of himself and Scrar. The venom is melting when it hits Scrar, but it's also um, causing the heat to die down, making it more tolerable for Vizlak. Um, Viz Scrar, when he realises he doesn't have much heat left, he lets go of Vizlak, not wanting to have to rest. Um, and what he does is he goes to uh, whip his tail around around Vizlak's uh, mouth to seal it shut just when he was about to shoot up a venom, but it just spews out like... Um, one little jet here, one little jet here, and um, it doesn't hit Scrar at all, and the rest of it is just stuck inside of Vizlak, which Vizlak um, is now choking on. Uh, Vizlak is using his tail to just um, remove, try and remove Scrar's tail, but it's not working. So um, uh, Vizlak goes to hit Scrar in the mouth then, but Scrar saw that coming and Bites down on Vizak's cervicals and Vizak to make a silent screech in pain. Um, Vizak is starting to choke on his own venom and uh, he gets to the point where he's fun struggling to breathe now. Vizak can't Vizak can't use his tail to get out of it, and Vizak can't move his head away from Scrar's tail because of how firm of a grip that he has. He uh, Vizak. Um, Tries all he can, using all his strength, but Scrar's not letting him move at all. Um, also, one of Scrar's uh, foot feet have uh, pinned the body of Vizlak down, and um, is scratching, uh, digging his claws into Vizlak's uh, side. Uh, Vizlak is feeling the pain, starts choking. Then, after what seems like minute hours, the tip of Vizlak's tail just slumps down. And Vizlak stops making noise. Scra releases his grip of Vizlak. And um, Vizlak just crumbles down to the ground. With what seems like venom just leaking out of Vizlak's face. Um, when it seems like Scra goes... Scra realises that he must have won. He goes back to his chamber ready for... Uh, well, victory uh, for round two. But suddenly, Vizak gets back up and shoots uh, more venom towards Scra. Scra um, gets hit directly on his tail, uh, greeted by that. He turns around in surprise, and he realizes that Vizak must have faked uh, dying just so he can he will release his grip of Vizak, which worked. Vizak is cunning, remember. Um, Scra turns around, seeing that the venom is now. Uh, encased his entire tail. He doesn't want it to encase all of him more. So he charges up towards Vizak, pins him down, and using his claws, pries it between Vizak's um, mouth, 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 mouth. Vizak shoots more venom, hitting Scra directly in the face. But whilst he, whilst he was doing that, Scra was pulling Vizak's mouth open to where it just opens a full 180 degrees. And then Scra what Scra does is that he bites on the bottom of... Uh, no, he can't. He can't bite. Never mind. Ignore that because his face is encased. Um, the ven the venom is quickly encased in Scra, but Scra um he only has his front legs left, and what Scra does before he loses all feeling in that, he pulls. He does one extra large pull, which breaks Vizak's jaw, um, causing Vizak to properly slump down to the ground in defeat, and Scra, um gets completely encased in his venom. Uh, after what seems like hours of Vizlak just lying dead and Scra not being able to move, um, the landlord is thinking, I think both these beasts have lost. But suddenly, uh, as he goes up to uh, clear the arena, um, he starts feeling a strange heat sensation from his back uh, whilst he's cleaning the rubble. He turns round and sees that the venom on Scra is melting away from the remains of Scra's heat that he left. Uh, Scra is now completely out of the casing and uh, looks down to Vizak, gives one more uh, whip with his tail and he walks back to his chamber.
in victory. So with that, Vizzak has lost, Skra has won. Um, my mind kind of got away from me there, um, halfway through that battle, especially when um, Vizzak first slumped down. I was like, wait a minute, Vizzak's smart, he was just fake being dead. So that's what I did. Um, I think that went well, I think that was an alright battle. Not the best, but it was a good battle and the matchup was kind of interesting, hence why it was one of these, the last few battles on this round. Uh, anything I'd like to say about that? Nothing much, really. Um, if you think this actually won, please in the comments below why you think that. But unfortunately, my word is final and Scrah's go going on to the next round. But, with that being said, join me in the next video, which is battle number 19, I believe. 19? Yeah, battle number 19, which have two more combatants fighting against each other for one for a spot in round two. But with that being said, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press that notification bell down in the corner below, and I'll see you next time.